Before we start today's video, I want to share with you this month's pick from Dossier. This is the brand I've been sharing with you for almost two years now, and they are an awesome brand that takes well-known and popular fragrances and recreates them for a more realistic price. And they do it so well, a lot of their fragrances are practically identical. It's really awesome. And for the next couple of months, I'm going to be a little selfish here and focus on things that I like to pick up for myself, starting with the musky green tea, which is based on the famous Silver Mountain Water by Creed and I think it smells pretty much identical to the original, honestly, and I happen to love the original, so this works out quite nicely. I want to let you know, too, in case you're interested, they have an all-new Discovery set over at the Dossier shop. This allows you to get a look at multiple fragrances that are best sellers and top picks without having to commit to a full bottle. Here's actually a look at everything inside the kit, too. It's actually got two of my personal favorites in there, so you might want to check this out. A link to their shop is in the description. Head over there and check it out. Now, though, on to today's episode. across my desk today is the all new drops from the Forte series that are out today, the Royal Shaving Cream and Beard Oil. We will of course be looking at both today so you can decide if these are worth picking up or passing on. Starting first with the Shaving Cream, which the brand says features a unique blend of premium ingredients that soothe and nourish the skin. They also say this cream was specially designed to create a protective barrier for an up close and comfortable shave without some of the usual issues that we face like irritation, redness, and razor burn. Price-wise for this, we are looking at 3.75 ounces for $24 US. Moving over to the beard oil now, the brand explains this is a luxurious blend of premium oils that nourish and style your facial hair with ease. They also say they designed this with fast-absorbing lightweight oils to prevent dry, itchy skin and defend your beard from the elements, leaving it feeling soft, healthy, and protected. Price-wise on this, we're looking at $28 for one ounce. Now let's take a look at each one of these in action, starting first with the shave cream. And as I've said in the past, I only typically shave my neck. I don't usually shave my entire face. So that's what I'm going to do here. And I still think that that gives me a good testing area to report on as it still gives me the ability to point out any red flags that might come up during this test. And the first thing that I can report to you when using this is it's nice and slick, which is ideal for a product like this. Obviously, you want your shave cream or shave gel to be nice and slick so you can take care of business without irritating the skin. Other than that, it seems to be pretty much business as usual. And I'm in between shave bowls at the moment. So my daughter was kind enough to lend me her unicorn bath cup for a few minutes so I can rinse my razor here. So big thanks to Mia for that. But I'm just continuing on with my shave here, getting everything cleaned up. And of course I nicked myself here. I swear it has been months since I've nicked myself shaving, but of course it would happen while I'm filming. That's just how things go. But of course that's not a reflection of the shave cream. So I'm just going to go ahead and ignore it and show you guys the finished product here. Now let's go ahead and move on to that beard oil. And honestly, this is pretty straightforward as it's just an oil blend. It's not meant for really anything other than one single purpose here with the beard. So instead of looking at what it does, I'm looking for anything that might not work right, any red flag, so to speak. But really, it all seems pretty straightforward. I'm massaging it into my beard. I really like to work it into my chin because that's where personally I get the most dry skin areas is right there on my chin. So I always try to pay particular attention to that area on my chin. And so far, everything seems to be going as usual. It's adding a nice little gleam there to my beard. Maybe you can pick that up on camera, but it does it doesn't feel oily, it doesn't feel heavy or anything like that. It feels like it's absorbing as it should and everything seems to be going quite well. It just seems to be very normal, which in this case is a very good thing. Again, the thing with both of these products is it's not quite like a hair product where we can examine multiple variables. It really just comes down to that very straightforward question, do they work or not? And now that we've finished our closer look, I can try to answer that question for you. Starting first with the shave cream. And I wanna say first off, I actually really like this style of shave cream. I do know folks out there have different preferences as far as what they like to use and some people love rich lathers and some people really prefer the gels personally i think this is the best of both worlds obviously it doesn't have a real thick lather to it but it's not fully a shave gel either it's got a bit of creaminess to it it's got a bit of thickness there but it still has that nice slickness to it for the razor to just glide over the skin and i think it lends itself very easily to a shave routine without adding extra time the only criticism that i would offer with this particular product compared to 
others that I've tried and tested is this one seemed to take a little extra time rinsing off of the razor. It didn't seem to just rinse right off as others have that I've seen in the past, but that would be my only thing with this one. When it comes to my skin, however, after shaving, I didn't notice anything odd at all. It left my skin feeling really good, actually. No, no irritation, anything like that. Nothing like I've seen with other products in the past. Moving over to the beard oil now, though, this one was also very straightforward. Once again, it's not too greasy. It's not annoying. It seems to just work as it should. And sometimes that's really what we're looking for with products like this. We want it to just work. And I think we also want it to smell good. We want it to work and we want it to smell good. And on this one, the scent is really nice and light. I'm told it's just the standard Forte scent, but I don't think it's too heavy. It definitely doesn't get in your face and give you a headache. And I think the level of fragrance works out very nicely. Overall, I have to say I'm pretty happy with this one. I really don't see a false note anywhere with it. I think that's pretty much it though. These are just two really easy products to examine, really easy ones to add to your collection if you're looking for something new for your shave routine. I think overall they did a great job and I really am enjoying the direction the Forte series seems to be going right now. And once again, these are out right now. And if you'd like to check these out for yourself, I do have a link to their shop in the description along with a coupon code to save you a couple of bucks on your next order. I also want to thank you so much for stopping by the channel and checking this out with me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. That's a big help. That's all I got for this one. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking these out with me. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.